Garrett here with DIY PBX. Welcome to video three. In the next three minutes, you'll learn how to set up an extension and register a phone to your DIY PBX. Here's Kent with more instructions. Hey, this is Kent with DIYPBX.com again. This is our third video in the series, and we're going to talk about uh, setting up an extension and getting a phone registered to your brand new PBX. So right now I'm in the reports, Astros info, and I'm in the summary tab, and uh, we can see that my system's been up for some time. And I've got the, it says three, but there's really two SIP registrations in there. What we're going to do is we're going to create an extension. So I'm going to go to Applications, Extensions. Once I'm over there, brings up my Add an Extension menu. Generic SIP device is absolutely fine. We're going to hit Submit. We're going to put in here, I'll put 100 for the extension. Just make sure it's a unique number, whatever you put in there. Uh, and we're going to call this Test Phone. I don't need anything else except the secret right now. Make sure that uh, DTMF mode is RFC 2833. NAT is yes. It will be by default. I'm going to copy this secret to my clipboard. We get all the way down. Uh, we can create, uh, we can enable the voicemail under the voicemail tab. I'll tell you what, we'll do that right now. Give it a password. Uh, we could do all kinds of things. But all in one shot, we're creating an extension, creating a voicemail. Hit Submit. We hit Apply Config to finalize the changes. I have my phone in my extension here. I'm going to set this up on a Polycom right now. Um, you can see I've got Line 3 pulled up. We're going to call it uh, Test Phone. And uh, we'll just give the address of 100. The authentication ID is 100. That's the extension number. The password is what I just copied as the secret off of uh, the PBX. I gave it a label. This is what appears on the screen on the Polycoms. Go down to the server and what I need to do is get this IP address and copy that uh, into the server field for server 1. You can see it adds this HTTP. We don't want that. Um, Make sure if that does pop up, you get rid of that. If you just type in the IP address directly, it won't bring that up. We are connecting to port 5060 on the server, so that is exactly what we want. I'm going to hit Submit or Save on this. Yes. And I'm looking behind me. The line says it's active on the phone. Uh, one important thing to note is under sitting Settings, SIP, you want to set a local SIP port that's unique for each phone. By default, this will be 5060. But if you have more than one phone as 5060 for the local SIP port, that's the port that the phone itself is using, sometimes they'll conflict with each other, or your firewall may get confused. And you'll see some weird registration stuff. If you run into that, make sure you have a unique local SIP port. Uh, this one I gave 25205. A lot of times I like to use 25 and then the uh, extension number if I have a three digit extension. So I could call this 25100. Or if it's a four digit extension, I might use two and then the extension, so 21000. Just make sure this is unique for each phone that you have on the same network. That's a pretty important thing. You can see if I go back up here and I go to my Astros info, and right now I've got three SIP peers online. Well, the, the first two are my gateways at SIP.us that we configured. The third one, that's online is my phone. It is good to go. And that is it. That was a Polycom phone. All the Polycom phones are set up very similar. We'll create some other videos for other phones, but right now that's all you need to know to get you started. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.